All right, so we got <clears throat> we got the key inside of this pivot. We got this torsion spring. We got the button inside of here. Um, you you'll notice there's like a little tang right here in the torsion spring. We're gonna take this half of the board, not the board, the the key without the board, and there's like a little slot next to this hinge or this whatever, this like peg, right? I'm gonna put. Uh, the spring into the peg and then I'm going to put that little tang inside the slot, right? Okay, so we want the key to open up like this, okay? So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put a little bit of preload on the key like that. So this is kind of the resting position of the key. I'm going to rotate it like that. Alright. I'm going to take this half now. This is the half with the circuit board, right? And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to hold this in this orientation so the board doesn't move around, right? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the button into the hole. Alright? And I'm going to continue... Let's see... I'm going to continue to preload it even more. We're coming around in this direction. Lift the key up a little bit, get it right there. And then this guy should snap back together again, hopefully. Come on. Yeah, just like that. All right. So now when you go to close it, it opens back up again. And then all we're gonna do is, I guess we're gonna kind of reverse the things that I showed you earlier. Put the battery back in. I'm gonna put this cover back on. Like that. I'm going to put that metal guy back on. Again, it kind of goes in kind of skewed and I push it into alignment. Uh, this thing came with a screw. Do better than me. Oh, this is a Phillips. Eh, whatever, I'll put that thing back in there later. Anyways, after you screw that thing down, snap your battery cover back on. You're good. Hopefully this helps. I know this is a big pain in the ass for me, so hopefully it's not a pain for you guys. Later.